So along with producing and hosting a wildlife show and other videos and books, and whatever else, Gary Mativier made special use of that rugged beard of yours on a Western series starring Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Well, just those two guys. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Don't forget Sam well, Elliott. Sam Elliott uh, too. Uh, Gary had legend. an experience on a little show called 1883, uh, which is a, a, a prequel to the uh, uh, Yellowstone series, which is another fave. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we had to take a different look on for this, so uh, I had the beard, so we grew it out even longer, and the hair even longer. What I wanted to do about this, Paula, was ta Taylor Sheridan, as you know, from Yellowstone and, and 1883 and he, several the, other things. He's products. the creator of that, yeah. He's a big-time creator, and, and this, is, this is 1883. So I wanted to go there. My primary mission here was to not only meet them, uh, meeting the producers and whatnot, but be around something like this, because I love this. I love Western stuff. As you know, I was raised in Oklahoma, and I always wanted to be in a Western. So to be around this, I got to study this set, and th there's where we ate our dinners and Those whatnot. are the trailers, yeah, yes. Yeah, and there were probably uh, 400 trailers. There are 500 people on the grounds. This is uh, this is on the ranch in Texas, in Guthrie, Texas, mm -hmm. the, the Four Sixes Ranch, mm -hmm. where they filmed several of these shows. Yes. And right there's one of our little outdoor bar scenes. So this is the settlement coming through town. But my primary goal here was not necessarily to be on this show, although I was hoping to get noticed and maybe get a larger role in something else, but to see how it works and to see how these guys really do this behind the scenes. Uh, there's uh, one of the beautiful pictures in the evenings when we went home after a long 12, 14 hours. So it was all in Texas. It was all, yes, this was all in Texas. This one where yep. you shot. Um, so there you are, you, uh, you do show up in, um, in one, of the, uh, one of the scenes. But you're hoping, could something launch from this, you think? I think so, in particular now with the new agent in, in Chicago. Uh, uh, this is one of the dust storms we were a part of, which was incredible. But with the new agent in Chicago now, we're looking at the, new, the next sequel with them, which is why I don't play up being the background player here as much as I was just being here for this experience, getting to know these people, and I hope to have a larger role with them. That's mm -hmm. Faith Hill right there, by the way, on the left. Mm -hmm. Those are the steer mm -hmm. used in the, in the wagon train and, and all that kind of stuff. But just being around this and, and enjoying this experience, and I want to produce some of my own films too, so I kind of wanted to see, and I got to stand right there beside Taylor Sheridan where he's directing mm -hmm. and you know all the staff. I think they had like 300 people there working behind the scenes. And there's our little dressing room area where we wait to go out to our, our set, which is on land, you know, they built the sets on the ranch. It's just right out there on the ranch, and you see how the wind is just yeah. whipping through that trailer yeah. or the, 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 the tent. Gary, for all the folks watching now thinking, well, I, I want to show up on a set like that and be part of it. Is it difficult to get even what you were able to do there? I mean, it is. I, I had to get cast for the, the role that you see me in. So all the people you see in the background of any show, okay, those people aren't there by accident. Right. They auditioned somehow to be there. Right. And they are actors, and some are at various stages. Some just want to be background players. Others are using that as a springboard for bigger things, for larger roles, whatnot. And you know, you never know on a set like that, they could look at you and see a look. And this has happened to me in Los Angeles before. And all of a sudden they say, hey, could you say a line for us? Hmm. Uh, or, or do a certain action that got, gets to be. That's how I got to meet Steve Martin in Trains, Lanes, Automobiles. They liked my look, and they asked me to be the guy to walk in front that he would s step into and slam into. At the airport. Yeah, I got to be a featured extra there, and that was fun. But it can also be a major springboard for people. That's mm -hmm. how a lot of these other actors get started. So. Yeah, so, you know, when you, when you show up on a set like that and, and you see the, the, the big actors taking part yeah. in this, I mean, they all started somewhere, too. Exactly, right? exactly. Then when you, when you look over and you see a Sam Elliott, and you know. Yes. Oh, do, do your Sam Elliott. Well, invitation. it was cool because I was sitting there. I got really close to the action, and I had no idea he was right behind me. And I turned, and, and Sam Elliott standing there, and he's just. Morden, which Morden. I can't, I can't do. I don't. Morden, I can't, I can't do that. Unfortunately, <laughs> his voice is amazing, right? in Morden, I can, I can, I can just see that. But I just love his work, and he, he just works so hard, and he works to keep the Western American spirit alive too. And I love that genre, and that's oh, something yeah. I want to do more. It fit well. It sure fits your look. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so future, w w you got something else coming right up. You want to talk about that? Yeah, for which, the next one, minute? which one do I have coming up? Well, which one, whatever <laughs> one you want to let the folks know about. Well, it, like it said, have a few movies that we're filming. Uh, I do want to bring some local film work here to this area, by the way. We haven't ever talked about that yet. But I'm film, forming a production company to bring films here to get local people more involved in the process, cool. too. Good. And so I'm working on some scripts for that as well. 
and the book I mentioned, uh, you know, the, the Norma's book is just going to be, yes. I'm very excited about that. And that could launch several books. As you know, I got my master's in writing for, for children and young adults oh, while I was you, working here. Yes, you did that then. Yeah. And I have several manuscripts sitting there that I've kind of put on the back burner, but are now moving up. You know, you're making the rest of us feel like slackers. I just do this every day. It's like, I don't know, you only do like 12 different things. So you can imagine when people come up to me and say, so you're retired, right? <laughs> Dude, like I have not retired. retired. He's doing more now than he ever did. Now, you don't, you, yeah. you have, don't have to stay here nine hours a day. Like. No, but I get to see you like this, which is so cool. It was so fun and you get today. to launch my new show. It was, so that's did, you, awesome. did you enjoy being on live TV today? Only because it's with you. Yeah, gee. Well, I guess you can come well, back now. I heard, I heard some sound effects. Or, uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was Jay going wah, wah. I do enjoy okay. being with you, Paul. You, so, you bring this stuff to life. It's thank cool. Thank you, dear. You're the best. YouTube.com, that's where you can see That's Wild. And let's launch it right now. Go. And let's there we say, go. go. That means you can, uh, you can see Gary and all the wild things and his team. Thanks to all the, the, the team members who showed up. I know uh, we appreciate you all. Thanks, Gary. No, thank you.